In this tutorial, I want to dig a little bit farther into the edit curve and talk about U-location and G1 continuity. And so this is a relatively simple demo where we have this pentagon and it illustrates where the U parameter lies. Now you'll notice in this case that our coordinate one is U0 and it's actually kind of above the horizontal line here. So in fact, the U parameter of that point, well, I guess it's over here on the right, is not directly in line with what would be the U parameter of this circle on the right hand side. And so the way that I've adjusted that is to come in and give this cross section some spin. And if I turn this back to say zero, you can see what happens. So this point up here wants to attach right down here at the U zero location of that circle. And so there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. It's just not what I intended. I want the attachment point of that to be up here on this circle. So I have to tell it that by adjusting where this lies. And so I can kind of eyeball it, get an idea of about where it should be. And then I can manually type it in so that it locks in right where I want it. And you can see there's this nice sharp line that goes to this section. I just happen to know that that's where it needs to go. So when we're talking about the U coordinate, we're talking about where along the parametric breakdown of this line you are. So in this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six points. But really, we're going 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. And so each of the U coordinates for these are set down here. Now you also notice that if we were to come down here and adjust this, it's going to start moving these points around. And it's actually easier to see this if we go to a hidden view. Now you can see the interpolated sections and see where the cross sections are. So let's come down and instead change this to 0.25 and watch what happens. So the control point here is still locked. It understands that there should be even distribution between those points, but what it's telling it is that the U locations of adjacent cross sections should pass through that point. And so it's really shifting it around on these adjacent ones. Now there are other ways that you can kind of attempt to fix where these things lie, which we'll cover in a different video. But just be aware that when you're adjusting the U parameter of each of these control points, what you're doing is adjusting the coordinate where the lines are supposed to pass through for adjacent cross sections, unless you reparameterize, which we'll cover in a different video. Let's talk a little bit now about moving to something like a cubic Bezier and then picking something like G1 continuity. Now, because this was originally linear, all of these have discontinuities in the, the curvature of the slope as it passes through each of these control points. So let's use, say, this one as an example. If we turn on G1 continuity, watch what happens. So it has taken these and said, okay, well, they must be in equal direction, but not necessarily equal strength. So as I move this piece around, you can see that it is slope continuous as it passes through this point, but is not necessarily curvature continuous. So this is not G2 continuity, it's just G1. So G1 continuity is one of those nice ways to ensure that you have a nice smooth slope as you pass through a point. You can, of course, turn that on and off, but again, the curvature need not be equal. And so as you move this around, again, it's just maintaining constant slope. So hopefully that gives a bit of a demonstration as to the effects of the U parameter and applying G1 continuity to a control point in OpenVSP's Curve Editor.